from Newsnet and CCTV. It's high school hockey coming to you from the Wex in Cadillac. Okay. Yeah, talking this a while. Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Wex Arena here in beautiful Cadillac, Michigan. I am Jeff Castillo, and we have exciting high school hockey action for you tonight on Newsnet Sports and CCTV. Tonight, we have a showdown with the Petoskey North Northmen, excuse me, coming in to play the host Cadillac Vikings. We are starting off the new year with a big North showdown with these two. They are coming off of uh, some exciting wins as of recently. So tonight on my pregame show, I have seniors Nick Allen from the Petoskey team, and I have Jack Schmidtendiel from the Cadillac Vikings. And Nick, we're going to start off with you. How are you doing tonight? Doing great, thank you. All right, welcome to the Wex. I'm sure you've been here before and played a little bit of hockey, huh? Yeah, a little bit in my youth. I uh, I played here probably when I was about 10 years old when I played up in Gaylord, and uh, it's been a while, but I'm glad to be back. All right, well, we have a great facility here. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Nick. Yeah, I'm a senior at Boyne City High School, but I play hockey in Petoskey through the co-op. Um, I'm the youngest of four siblings, and uh, my plan for next year is to attend the U.S. Naval Academy. Oh, awesome. Good plan. So do any of your siblings play hockey also? Yes, all three of my older siblings all played hockey. All right, so you're a hockey family then, right? Absolutely. Hey, that's a good way to go. All right. And uh, so tell me uh, a little bit about uh, you had uh, an exciting overtime win the other night uh, against the Gaylord Blue Devils, uh, down 3 to nothing, and you came back, put it into overtime, and end up winning 4-3. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Absolutely, yeah. We had a, a real slow start to that game. We actually got down 3 nothing in the first period, and uh, we knew we weren't skating well, but we reorganized, and second period, didn't give up any goals, but we didn't score any ourselves. And then finally in the third period, we uh, started to take over, scored three goals, um, and then our freshman, Dylan Robinson, actually got our overtime winner to beat a real hot uh, Gaylord Blue Devil team. So. All right, awesome. That's got to be the probably the highlight of the year then for you guys uh, with that third win of the season for you and a good way to start off the new year, huh? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, you're one of uh, two seniors, I believe, uh, this year. So taking a little bit different role from last year, you're one of the seniors. You have a lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores come in. Uh, how has that role uh, taken on for you with the, with the youngsters coming in? Yeah, I mean, uh, I have definitely accepted the role of uh, a leader on the team. Uh, from day one, I talked to the coaches, and we sat down and said that Guys like me and our other, our other senior, Seamus Nolan, as well as juniors Derek Hebner and uh, Ethan Decker, we knew we had to play a big role in being leaders this year, and I think that the uh, underclassmen are accepting that and are willing to, to get on board the train. I think we're starting to go in the right direction now. Really excited. All right, nice. And you are leading the team in goals and assists and points and everything, so obviously leading by example also. So that's nice to see. Good for you. Uh, now, you've got a homestand coming up. You've got uh, tonight you're in uh, Cadillac, tomorrow you're in Manistee, and then you've got about five games in a row at home. How, is import how important is that for you guys right now? Yeah, I mean, we love playing at home in front of our home fans, obviously, and, you know, we think that we're hitting our stride right now. We're on the up for sure, and so we are absolutely looking forward to this nice stretch of home games to uh, keep it going, so we're excited. Uh, good luck with that. I hope it turns out for you, and good luck the rest of the way on your season. I'm going to have you stay right here. Now we have Jack Schmidt. Deal. How you doing, Jack? Uh, I'm doing good. All right. And tell us a little bit about yourself, Jack. Uh, I've been playing hockey for about, like, 12 years now. This is my third year on the varsity team. Uh, I play tennis in the fall, so that's fun. Uh, I've got two sisters and two brothers. Uh, See, so you have another brother on the on the hockey team this year. Yeah, my little brother. He's a freshman this year. It's fun playing with him this year. So. Is he better than you? No, nah, he's not. Not close. Of, co of course not. I wasn't expecting any other answer than that. Uh, so tell us, you had a. A uh, little bit of a rough uh, game on Wednesday. Uh, you guys have been a little short-handed. Tell us about that. Sounds like you got a lot of ice time the other night. Yeah, so a lot of our guys have had the flu in the past week, coming off of our Saturday game last week. So we've been missed. I missed, think we had nine skaters the other day on Wednesday against TC Central. You know, TC Central's a good team. Didn't really help that we were down, like, about half our guys. So it was a rough game. Well, we fought through it. We got mercyed, but... 
So it's whatever. All right, yeah, that's tough uh, when you don't get to come off the bench all that often. Uh, I was talking with Bill Dooley about that, and that's just getting you prepped up for men's league hockey because that happens often when you play in the men's league, so we're kind of used to that. <laughs> all right, so uh, you guys also have a homestand uh, coming up basically here in January. You've been on the road quite a bit there in November and December, and how is it going to be uh, staying at home for a while now? Uh, I think it'll be good, a lot of higher energy with the fans and stuff coming from here. Uh, we've had a lot of away games, so a lot of like the people from school haven't been able to make the games. So hopefully these next few games will have a lot of crowd in here, a lot high energy, just playing our game. All right, awesome. And uh, what do you think your key to victory is tonight? Uh, we just got to play how we've been playing. We had a good game against uh, Mount Pleasant the other day. So we got to get pucks deep, just going hard for every puck, getting li good line changes. We had some bad line changes throughout the games, but just playing our game and see where it takes us. And an exciting overtime win for you against Mount Pleasant as you guys scored three goals in the last about eight minutes of the game. Yeah, uh, it wasn't overtime, but it was a hard fought uh, third period with like 10 seconds left for the last goal to win. Al almost overtime. Yep, my mistake on that one. Okay, well, Thank you very much, you guys. Good luck tonight. It should be a good battle. We're looking for a, a really good game out of both teams tonight. And good luck to the both of you, and good luck the rest of the way through your season. Thanks, thanks for doing this. All right. Okay, that wraps up our pregame show. We will be ready for the puck drop here after these messages on Newsnet Sports and CCTV.